Hey everybody, this is the middle of day 11. I just haven't videoed anything this morning. Um, there's really nothing to see as you're driving down California uh, until you get up to these mountain range and this pass that I'm getting ready to go across and I will figure out the name of it because I can't remember it. I mounted the GoPro on the roof of the truck looking at the boat because this is a real twisty mountainous pass. So I thought it'd be really cool, you know, to get a time lapse of the boat going up the mountain and everything around it. So <laughs> let me know in the comments what you think, if I should do more of these angle shots. I'm gonna try and, while I'm going through LA and around Southern California to get a little bit better vision of what's around me and what I'm dealing with in the traffic. So love to hear your feedback, let me know. So I have the GoPro is connected to my tablet using the Wi-Fi of the GoPro. So I can control and see everything from right here. Pretty cool shot, huh? Nice wide shot. Now, let's see what happens. All right, the first test with the GoPro mounted on the top of the truck is pretty pretty badass. I'll show you what I did. Um, I mounted it up there and then ran the power cable inside down to the jackery. <laughs> that way I don't have to worry about the power turning off or the battery running dead while it's up there. And it gives me a great perspective of the boat. So we'll check that out. Uh, you see this mountain grade up here. This is gonna get pretty serious. A lot of trucks fail to make that grade. So in light of that, I'm gonna remove my superheating system. As you can see, the shutters are wide open inside there right now. So we're gonna take this off. Peel this tape off. And remove my system. served its purpose. <laughs> oh, look how filthy that is. All right. I'll put this in the back of the truck. I'll probably end up using it again, if not making a better one. All right. Put that in there. Things looking good. Here we go. Yeah.
So I'm at Banks Power, and this is sick. Niche wheels, or niche wheels. Nice little Banks logo, blacked out. This is sick. I'm gonna guess this isn't stock. <laughs> CTS6, all wheel drive. Drop a comment and let me know what you think about this, guys. All right, so that is the dope Cadillac, and I'm at Banks. There's Banks Tech. What's the different buildings? So you can see in the eye, all these buildings are around here. We've been talking cars yeah, for a we, half an we hour. We've been easy. talking cars for a little bit. So, <laughs> right, hey guys, I'm Steven. I work at Banks Power. I do the social media and I support a lot of our customer service. So, if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Uh, behind me here is going to be our South Race shop, marketing, and part of our engineering firm. And then if you look north, right over here, that's all electrical engineering. And it's also gonna be the north race shop where we do a lot of vehicle install. Uh, we have both the race dynos for the engines. And then on the other side across the street, we have part of our machine shop is over here where we're building exhausts, headers, exhaust brakes, things of that nature. Uh, we've got... Um, it's a compound. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, 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 camp. <laughs> we've got a whole facility here. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, this is also going to be admin. And then on the other side, we've got a warehouse. And then if you want to pan the camera this way, we've also got uh, Banks Tech, which handles all of our... Um, Top secret military stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. No, no, please, don't tell anybody. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, this is where we hand assemble all the engines for the JLTV. So we get the long blocks uh, from Duramax. We hot rod them. Um, pre, well, they're pre-hot rodded at the Duramax plant. And then we bring them here. We finish the hot rodding. We dyno test them. We assemble them. And then we ship them to Oshkosh in Wisconsin, right? And then on the other side, you can't really see over here. Uh, but if you actually look uh, on... I see the sun blinding, yeah. 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 <laughs> right where the sun is at, yeah. we actually have an additional warehouse. And then we also have sales. We've got tech support. And we also have uh, an additional warehouse where Gail keeps some of his private collectibles. So, like, um, if you guys remember the uh, Chevy SS uh, black on black, uh, the 1500 that came out in the early 90s. Mm -hmm. Gail actually has one of those that's got 1,100 horsepower Duramax. In nice. it, that's turbocharged, which is pretty badass. Right. And he also has the 572 Silverado that he built in the late 80s, uh, which was also uh, pretty badass. I think we need to put it. triple Duramaxes in yes. the Scarab. Yes, that would be cool. Um, if you guys haven't heard, Banks is actually going to be launching a new crate engine program later this year. So if you haven't seen or heard anything about that, check it out at bankspower.com. Um, I'm that you'll probably put a link on the yeah, in, in the video absolutely. or something like that um but also if you want to see the development of the truck we've been building over the last year go to banks power youtube and click on um our banks built series right so we Sweet. have our 66 I'll, chevy 220. i'll put the icon at the end of the you know yeah. the, so our 66 chevy c20 is going uh it's been completely gutted and ripped apart, and it's got a custom Roadster Shop chassis. Nice. And it's got a couple other uh, badass uh, additions to it, like a supercharged, a Whipple supercharged. Uh, it's got a fifth gen 6.6 uh, .6 liter Duramax. Normally they're turbocharged. Right. We decided to supercharge. Um, I think if Instant the drive. race shop is open, I might be able to. So right behind me, guys, is going to be our 66 Chevy C20, uh, dubbed Lockjaw. Um, if you see it in the Banks Built series, you'll see it go from, like I said, from point A to point insane. So it's sitting on a custom Roadster Shop chassis, a uh, custom Roadster Shop spec chassis, actually. It's running a Whipple 5th Gen uh, 3.8 liter uh, supercharge, supercharger uh, on a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax. Uh, base. It's actually the current L5P for uh, that you'll find in a lot of GMC Denali 2500, 3500s, and all the Silverados. And then um, everything, it's got a full nitrous supply uh, system in it. So uh, right around average horsepower, we're probably going to be making around 600, 650 pre-nitrous. Mm, and then mm, with mm. nitrous, anywhere between eight to 900. 
I can't speculate exact, I can only speculate because we don't have exact numbers yet. Our engineering team's actually working that out right now for an upcoming episode. And then what else do we have? We have a full Ritec air, ba- air ride suspension on it. Nice. We've got Candela Manufacturing. They did all of our custom long tube headers for the, the truck. The headers I saw, the build yeah, on it, are right there. If you zoom in, Insane. which is pretty cool. And then uh, it's also got um, everything from uh, a Motec ECU system and display. It's got four of our iDash data monsters, so we can data record everything. Everything. Which. If anybody knows Gale in the aftermarket industry, <laughs> you'll know that he's the data king and he has to record everything because it's all science for him. It is. Right? It is. Um, and then it, it's also got uh, uh, ATS uh, custom built transmission. Clint over at ATS really hooked us up and took care of us. Um, They're hooking the, me up with my pan and all the stuff from my truck. Exactly. So they went ahead and they made some special modifications for us so we could actually run the. Um, um, we could run the uh, drive shaft from, um, I'm trying to remember the name of it. Oh, QA1, our, our special QA1 uh, full carbon drive shaft Sick. out to the back. And that's going into a strange engineering Ford nine inch rear end. Wow. And then it's sitting on uh, spark, custom built spark. Uh, those wheels. wheels are Yeah, so dope. each one of those wheels started off as a 20, or <laughs> not 20 pound, but like a 50 pound piece of billet aluminum. And so we, over the course of like a couple of weeks or so, Spark Industries was able to go through and machine all of them into these gorgeous, you know, show pieces that you see. Today. Yeah, look at these wheels. These wheels are just incredible. Yeah. And then uh, TMI also did the interiors. Um, I know that mm-hmm. Vibrant Performance helped us out with a lot of the plumbing. Uh, we also have XRP. They helped out with a couple of things. And then trying to remember what else uh, uh <laughs> i mean there's follow there's, follow the channel yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> subscribe want, yeah follow the channel <laughs> like subscribe do whatever you you want to do um but we also if you want go to our projects page on banks.com or official.bankspower.com you can actually see all the manufacturers that helped us out with this whether it's the wheels whether it's the engine excellent any of the tuning or anything else like that so yeah, it, it's been a pretty fun project. Sounds like it. And, Sounds and you, like it. you had originally come over because you were just looking to get, <laughs> you, you wanted to talk about, what was it like? Boats. Yeah, yeah, you wanted to talk about boats or anything else, and I don't know how the hell we got stuck on yeah, something yeah, like it, this. Duramax. It, it, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you start talking Duramax, and, and you're not talking about a Ram truck anymore, because <laughs> well, yeah. I need to find my parts. Uh, yeah. yeah we, you know, we're going to end up doing the, the Monster Ram, and I'll do an install on, my, on, the, on the Banks Power Ram Air. Make sure you guys follow and subscribe to this dude. He is trying to build up his YouTube channel. Yep, yep. I am going right? to do it. I'm going to do it. Well, hey, man, thanks a lot. I appreciate you a lot. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll, we'll stay in contact. Guys, right. this is just amazing. See you later, guys. Have a good one. Everybody, this is Gail Banks. This is the man himself. I, I, I We've been talking for the last hour, and I didn't realize he had to run. And, We're having so damn yeah, much fun. I know, right? Yeah. Talking about projects, talking about the past, talking about boat racing, car racing, Bonneville. Oh, oh. Y'all are going to have to check out his channel. I'm putting a link in the video. It, it's There's so much that you have to see to experience that Banks is coming out with. So stay tuned. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, I'm Matt Gamble, uh, Engine Program Manager at Gale Banks Engineering. And this is, is Lockjaw. This is awesome. Okay. So this is our 66 Chevy C20 truck that we debuted at SEMA in 2021. And this truck was built, this whole thing was built for this. And this is the very first prototype Banks R866 SC crate engine. So this is engine number one. And you can you can kind of tell because of all the, the billet parts that are all over it. We've got a billet intake manifold, a billet supercharger, a billet supercharger. Yeah. A billet uh, intake and drive system, uh, billet FIAD front engine accessory drive plate, uh, some of the craziest headers you'll ever see. And this engine is going to be our test mule in our vehicle test mule to prove out the, the whole package for our crate engine program. So I uh, spent a lot of time designing this thing and making these parts. It's, it's actually really, really close 
to firing. We're doing some last little tweaks on it and some instrumentation, and we will fire this thing either tomorrow or maybe three or four days from now. Oh, for the first time. For the first time. I've never heard I it might run. have to. I might have to come back yeah. tomorrow. I, I, I haven't heard it run yet, and it's like... You know, it's like one of the hardest things to wait to like, right? to like hit the ignition on this thing. Oh but, my gosh! Uh, we're gonna get it dialed in just right before we uh, uh, light it off. Um, it, it's outstanding. I've been yeah. following this and, and the whole prep for it to go to SEMA, and it's just one of the. Uh, you know, I come from the southeast, well, Texas to southeast to Florida, and you know we do the rod runs and everything down there. Oh yeah. And you know we just had a turkey trot at Daytona, and this would just have. <laughs> best of show it's a, it's, a, it's a mind blower it was a ton of work um a lot a lot of late nights i mean sure you know how that goes right you oh yeah stuff you gotta you gotta put in the time you gotta put any hours uh, it's after hours we're still here yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's dark already so uh yeah but uh but that's how but that's how you do this stuff yeah so and that's how this this comes to life and um that's awesome know, uh, we're, we're right now we're in the stages of taking these billet parts and creating production level castings. And this, this crate engine, uh, this is our stage one crate engine, will be offered for sale um, through bankspower.com um, in hopefully six, six or eight months from now. Excellent. Um, and, and then, uh, then it's it, just up to your creativity. That's it, the sky's the limit. It goes in, so. Until uh, we put this in an airplane and then it isn't the limit anymore. <laughs> that's right. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time and explaining Absolutely. this. This has been an absolute blessing. Look at these spark wheels. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Spark wheels. He did the steering wheel also. These are all custom designed. Um, Gail and Jonathan worked together on the design on this and came up with a way to try to evacuate air. Right. Through the wheel, draw that air into that, this low pressure zone outside of the vehicle. In, and keep these, these, I think those are like 15 inch rotors. In, in the eighties, when I used to race a Corvette, the wheels were directional. Mm -hmm. And we found out on a dyno that the wheels were pulling air from the outside in to cool the brakes. And what happened was is literally Gene Deputy dropped a sheet of paper and it hit the wheel <laughs> and went straight into it. Um, and we, were, we figured out, well, shoot, that's taking air from outside the car at high speeds and it's pushing it under the car and it's causing issues with our, our, our ground effect. Yeah. Um, so we literally took the wheels, reversed them, went to Texas World Speedway the next weekend and we were four tenths of a lap faster. There we go. And it was simply yeah, so because you, of that. If you go around the other side, right, you can see there, these are pointed, like this one's pointed forward, right? So right, right, right. So we look at the other side. Oh, yeah, look at that. And that one's pointed forward, right? So they're, same thing, they're directional. Each, each wheel is unique. That is so, outstanding. And you saw the custom. Yeah, I saw the logo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been awesome. Yeah, custom uh, stuff all over. This Pop is up inside. This too, is just inside. Oh, look at a steering wheel and a dash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did a, a custom uh, Billy dash to fit in the original opening. There, we've got our Motec display and then four banks eye dashes. Oh wow! Look at the drive shaft. Holy <laughs> cow! So that's from QA1, and that is what? a carbon fiber drive shaft. Just uh, complete, it's like 3.2 inch diameter, uh, you know, like 2,000 horsepower. Like, ri <laughs> ridiculous. I'm all about ridiculous. Yep. Well, that, those hinges that you're looking at are, are ridiculous. Are utter, utterly ridiculous. <laughs> They're for like a hatch on an offshore boat. Yeah. It's probably what they were for. No, this, these are this all, all custom, custom stuff. yeah. Um, oh, Watts Link. That's awesome. Yeah, got a Watts Link. This is our roaster shop here. You can see their logo. Oh, yeah. Roaster shop did the chassis for us. Um, and then all, all the rest of this stuff was designed in house. All the, a lot of, again, late nights, right? Late right. Nights on the, uh, this is all, this is six bar link. And it's all ARP. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. See, that's one of the greatest things that a lot of people are saying about your products is when, they show up and the box has all the fasteners, all the sealants, everything's ready to go. And yep. it, that's, I'm really excited to get, you know, do my installs with your products. And I was talking to somebody 
who had contacted me from the sponsorship form and I said, look, well, I want, I want to get the data log monster and then the rear diff cover because before I do my oil change with the factory fill, I wanted to have the data of what my temperatures are because I'm doing 10,000 miles, yep. 20,000 miles a month hauling boats all over the United States. This, this last past 10 days, I've already gone, uh, 5,000 miles. Um, you know, started off, <laughs> I started this trip, uh, yeah. uh 12 days ago in Key West and went from Key West to South Carolina where my shop is. Then went from shop in South Carolina to New York City, grabbed that boat, delivered it in Washington State two days ago. Yesterday I left Washington State with the new boat that I have here that's going to Seal Beach tomorrow. And then I'll grab the boat in Newport and take it to Charleston. So yeah, I'm putting some miles on my yeah, on my a, truck. So I've got to bank that truck, you yeah. know? <laughs> I've got to. But man, I appreciate you sharing Whoa, those are fender liners? Yeah, those are the front inner fenders. <gasps> yep. And I have become an Amazon dealer simply from the video that y'all listed. All right. I switched from Royal part. Purple to Amazon, and I'm telling the whole world right now, we will have this in stock. I cannot wait to get home and change it all on my truck. And I, I had some friends ask me, they go, they go does Gail really <clears throat> use Amsoil? Is it just a video? And I sent him a picture of this. There it is. Oil. Absolutely. Right here. We use it in everything. And that's what I'm doing too. I'm I've already placed the order, wait for it to be processed. It's it's done yep. deal. Done deal. Well, thanks so much again. Thank Absolutely. you so much. It's been such a treat and you got I'm, it. I can I, stop by. I, I, I am so glad I, I got a chance to do this and um Hey, I know where that can go. <laughs> wait. My truck's right out the door. <laughs> awesome. This is so amazing. So amazing. <laughs> that is epic. Oh, look at that. For scale. <laughs> He's gonna put his whole arm in there. That's massive. But I like it. Look at that pipe. Oh. <laughs> That's the Carolina squat. <laughs> yeah. That's this, real. <laughs> this was all done. So this is all done in CAD. Uh, Brill batteries. A, a plasma table. Yeah, we've got a Brill. Yeah. That thing, it's got, I think it's $3,000. 3000 3, cold cranking. Oh, uh, let's say it. For 2000 something like that? It's Whatever it is, it's utterly ridiculous from, from one battery. You could run a Prius off that thing. Oh, yeah. The workmanship on this is insane. And that's what's so awesome about this is this is, a, this is proof of concept, but there's no, corner, there's no corners cut anywhere. So this stuff, this this whole bed hinge assembly uh -huh. was all done in CAD and we never fit it to the vehicle until literally the day you put it together. The day before SEMA. <laughs> it had never been together. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> we were down to the wire and yeah, this this is a neat system. So so this whole system works together. These are actually stock sixty six Chevy hood hinges. Hood hood hinge hood, springs. springs. Yeah. Um, which I kind of wanted to throw in there just for the fun of it. Are they stainless or are they, they just polished? Stainless. Yeah. That's insane. And, and uh, I mean, they're reproduction pieces. Right. Yeah, reproduction stainless pieces. But this turnbuckle, um, with it's got a pivot down here mm -hmm. and a turnbuckle here. And you can adjust this turnbuckle and it tensions and reduces for the your tension on the spring. So for your, for your preload. Get, so you can put the spring on easily and then open it up and preload it so that we get the balance on the bed just right. Now, okay, so I'm looking at the massively incredible brakes that are on yes. in this wheel. Yep. And from the outside of the wheel, you mm -hmm. can't really see how massive that caliper is. It's huge, it's huge. Okay, so are you gonna do some speed runs with this? Uh, you know, half mile events or mile events at airports? I think that that would be... Well, it, it's not caged. Yeah. At least right now. Yeah. Right? It's not caged right now. So so if we're going to do that, we got to make sure that, you know, we got some more safety stuff that we right. need to go over to make sure that no one dies. Right. Um, but, I mean, it's it's going to be capable. It's certainly going to be capable. A lot, a lot of horsepower, a lot of torque. That would be uh, truck number two. Yeah, well, <laughs> truck, truck number two is our, our bank's sidewinder type r uh-oh uh which was built by gail 15 years ago mm -hmm. um to go road racing and oh. it did a little bit of road racing but it, it, it uh had some issues with some driveline parts oh. breakage <laughs> uh 
and it kind of got back for quite a while. And we've got that actually blown apart right now, uh, getting updated to go to Pikes Peak. Oh, <laughs> oh. So we're gonna take that to Pikes Peak going after the, the diesel truck record on the hill. Right. And that, that is gonna be, so this truck, as I mentioned, this truck was like the test mule, like the vessel to develop the stage one crate engine that we've got in the front. And the Pikes Peak truck is going to be the vessel to develop stage, stage three. three. So, and, and, and four and five. Yeah. <laughs> and that truck will have a, a, a super turbo L5P Duramax in it. Nice. So, um, if, nice. If this is ridiculous, that will be ridiculous. Or <laughs> well, you know, unfortunately, Tesla took this plaid. We got to come up with a different pattern now. Yeah. <laughs> I love the data monsters that are built into the dash. Yep, with the Motag. Awesome. Let me pop a door for you. Oh, awesome seat covers. Yeah, right. Those are custom. <laughs> custom, custom by Hefty. <laughs> this is the new Hefty wrap. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so you can see how big the trans tunnel is. It's got an Allison 1000 in it, six feet Allison. Allison 1000. Yeah. And y'all welded that in. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, same guy who did the uh, the fenders and everything, did all the sheet metal work, Empire Fabrication in Ventura, California. Outstanding. Kick, kicked ass on all the sheet metal. Outstanding. Outstanding. All right, I know you guys have to go. <laughs> that was supposed to be somewhere two hours ago. All right, I like talking about this thing. No, I love it. I absolutely love it. This has been such a treat. It really has. It's probably some of the longest headers you'll ever see, too. I, I followed the whole whole video on these things. Is that a Burns collector? Y'all made those yourself? Uh, I think that one's Burns. Yeah. And then you can't, I mean, now that it's up, you can see them, but there's actually a muffler, like, right here, I think. Yeah, I yeah, see it. Right here, this is a... Like a, I think it's a three to five inch tapered muffler for like a, like, you know, the ridiculous baggers, Harley baggers. Right. So technically it's, it's, it's got mufflers. <laughs> it's got mufflers. Yeah. <laughs> you have to, when you get a Burns collector with that step, I mean, that you're accelerating that supersonic sound coming out of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to be here when it fires. Yeah. Ah, look at that pulley. Okay, this does not do it any justice. That's my hand. Y'all know how big my hand is. Like a banana for scale. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this drive ratio is pretty ridiculous. We, That's why you gotta have diesels. You know, full wrap on low it. speed diesel. You know, this thing is gonna, you know, four thousand RPM, maybe a little bit over, is gonna be redline on this engine. So in order to turn the blower fast enough, we have to have a, 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 a mass, giant yeah. crank pulley and a tiny uh, supercharger pulley to, right. get the, to get the ratio to get the, the the RPM of the blower fast enough to get to, the airflow to get well to get the yeah to get the mass flow yeah. through the thing and, and get into some good efficiency ranges for the blower. Um, so yeah, you end up with with, with this. <laughs> oh, such an evil laugh. <laughs> Three hundred and seventy amps. What? But look, check out the brakes. Those rotors are bigger than the wheel on a Prius. And then we've, we've got them off right now, but we've got, you know, dual. I think they're sitting on the ground right over there. Yeah, I saw the air dual, intakes. Dual air inlets. Yeah. Everything's. And, yeah. and again, just to illustrate, like, how, how big, how big that stuff is, like, yeah. Like that's uh, <laughs> C3PO. That's, that's, that's just one air, air intake. Wow. All right. Thank you guys. This has been a treat. Absolute treat. This is worth driving all the way to California. <laughs> and, and I won't say that I had to buy fuel in California because I have a 115 gallon tank and I've fueled up. And, uh, it's not cheap right now, is yeah, it? No, I fueled up in Idaho for three forty eight a gallon and made it to Seven Feathers in Oregon where I topped off at $4 a gallon. <laughs> and I won't have to fuel up again until yeah. I get to Phoenix. <laughs> 
where I can make it all the way home to Texas where it's uh, $2.20 a gallon. Oh, good yeah. Lord. Yeah. That's Bucky's. All right. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I, I really look forward to working with you guys on all of my builds. This is going to be amazing. And uh, make sure you guys t check the link in the channel at the end of this video. Subscribe to their channel and hit the notification bell so you can see this thing fire up. Yeah, go for it. Dude. So here we go. We, uh, those who followed the channel and when Xander was visiting me, well, remember this boat and my friend Jean-Michel, there he is. <laughs> He's got the grill going there. That's what matters. That's what matters. Ruben is the boss. <laughs> the new nouveau. <laughs> That's awesome. And the engines are out. So we go straight from Gil Banks' shop to Marina Del Rey. And the engines are out. I told you, Gil, we're serious. <laughs> Duramax all the way. <laughs> we're going diesel power, baby. Diesel power. This is it. We're going to get this thing all decked out. It's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be perfect. How's that song go? This is how you do it. Yeah, in the boat shop. In the boat shop. Got the Modelo. I'm not. I know I'm mispronouncing that. Everybody's gonna just say it. There are only two kinds of beer in this world, other than Rainier. There's two kinds of beer: free and cold. And I was served with both tonight. Just saying. Jean-Michel went out and he got some hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> they got the, what is it, ribs? Or what do we got on the grill today? Yeah, I'm going right. I'm to I'm get in here on this. They're ready. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what? Look at this. Man, it looks good. It looks good. <laughs> uh oh check it out. Hey, I know where that water is. <laughs> That's Bimini. Look at this. He's totally taking these engines out. What, 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 what? All right. All right. <laughs>